shadow of AFL alumni. It's the New England Patriots and the Cincinnati Bengals next on Madden Football. Now from the riverfront of the Ohio, sellout crowd has arrived at Acor Stadium in Cincinnati. Thanks for having us in, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson up here in the booth. Greg, we've looked at this matchup, talked about the offenses, the defense. It feels like a tight one, and usually what does that mean? Special teams could be a big factor in who gets out of here with the double. Each week when we come into these games, Mike, we probably do a disservice to just the importance of how much special teams plays a factor in deciding the outcome of these games. And you're exactly right. When teams find themselves very similar on offense, very similar on defense, all the metrics, all the stats, can you find an advantage, even the slightest one, in the kicking game, the return game, generate a turnover or a big kick return? Sometimes that little slight advantage is all you need to tip the scales in your favor. Jones now on the return. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The Bengals' offense comes out led by their quarterback, Joe Burrow. Can they keep him healthy? Because when he's good, he's so good. Won the Heisman during his days at LSU. Took this team to the Super Bowl. Now, Greg, year five for Burrow with the Bengals. We're about to watch one of the most gifted passers in the league, Mike. And it's not only just his arm talent. That's, of course, off the charts. But his ability to process, his ability both pre- and post-snap to operate maybe on a little bit of a different level than some of the other quarterbacks around the league. I mean, he is surgical with his approach. And he's on the short list of truly elite quarterbacks we have to offer in this league. And... For us to get a front row seat, man, how special is that? A gain of 14. Good for a quick first down. Off the play fake, here is Burrow. He's got the tight end, Tanner Hudson. And he's down on the other side of midfield. Markham at the 48-yard line. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion, and then really it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit and picked up decent yardage along the way. Take a look at his eyes. You can see the quarterback clearly going through all of his progressions, and he's quick to realize there's nowhere to go with this ball. He makes the right decision and gets out of there, picks up some good yardage, and gets down on the ground. Second down, Burrow. The middle of the field, that's taken in by Chase. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. That one taken in by T. Higgins. A gain of 17 to the 17-yard line. It's like a textbook, methodical, efficient NFL drive. Four for four, throwing the ball, mixing in some run. You're just marching the ball downfield at your will, and they get a fresh set of downs now to see if they can convert this nice drive into some points. On first down, Burrow. That is hauled in at the five. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance. And now this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Oh, 
It's a nice job here defensively. Down here tight, it's easy to be so concerned about stopping the pass that you lose sight of the quarterback when he decides to become a runner. Not the case here. Picks up a little positive yardage, sets up second and goal. Ball at the three, second down, and goal. They'll run with Moss. That one only good for a gain of one to the two to set up third and goal. going to get in. They make the tackle at the line of scrimmage. That's going to bring up fourth and goal. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings them right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. So, trying to make a statement on this opening drive. They're going to go for it on fourth and goal. This defense back up, but stepping up. No gain on the play. It stays at the three. Well, Mike, it's pretty clear early in this game the message they want to send is we are going to be aggressive on offense. And that's exactly what they did there, going for it on fourth down early. But it's the defense that comes through and forces the turnover on downs. The New England offense getting ready to go to work here. They're going to be led out by their veteran signal caller out of NC State. It's Jacoby Brissett. Whenever he comes in the game, you know exactly what you're going to get. He may not be one of the ultra-talented superstars or anything like that at the quarterback position, but he's a reliable presence in the huddle. He brings a lot of stability to this role, and he is capable of doing his job well and more than giving your team a fighting chance. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. Uh, first carry for Ramondre Stevenson. He'll struggle to get positive yardage here. Only up to about the five. Second down and eight. Reset. This one complete. A.J. Osborne with the grab. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try to run for this. It's Stevenson. And he's not going to get the first down. Met and brought down in the backfield on third and short. They do not get it done. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. Now, a fair catch is taken here, just short of the 45-yard line. The Bengals offense ready to get going with their second possession. They'll search for the first points of this game as they begin the drive on first and ten. throw here is complete they'll come up now for second down and four now Burrow take it in by Gasicki and a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. Burrow 
from out of the gun here on third down. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. It's a Cincinnati first down. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch, but I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Burrow. That's to his big tight end, Gesicki. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So, not much to speak of in terms of scoring in that first quarter of play. What will the second quarter have in store? Greg and I back here in Cincinnati after this. They'll come to the line now on second and two. On the handoff, this is Moss. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Second and two. You're thinking, I got two downs to get two yards. How hard can that be? Well, against this defense, it turns out to be a big challenge. They take you back for a loss of two. And now you find yourself on third down. Burrow. He's got a receiver. It's Chase. That's his third catch of this first half and good enough for a first down. I think the defender thought he had himself a pick here, Mike. He saw that curl coming the entire way, but unfortunately for him, it was a curl and go. They took him deep. Leads to a huge pickup. On first and ten, Burrow. Open man is the tight end Sample. And he's into the end zone. Through Sample. Touchdown Cincinnati. This is a great decision by the quarterback. You can see, Mike, he's trying to push this ball downfield and pick up a big completion in the air. But with the amount of depth the defense was getting, his best option was the check down, the underneath short throw, and just say, hey, pick up this rest of this game with your legs after the catch and fortunately for this quarterback this short throw is going to go down in the box score as a touchdown Evan McPherson now to kick the extra point the kick is good and after the TD on is McPherson to kick this one away. Jones now on the return. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Patriots offense ready to take over for their second possession. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 our score as this drive begins with a first down. Operating from the gun is Brissett. Open man. That's the tight end, Hunter Henry. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. On the handoff, it's Stevenson. He'll get the first down there, a pickup of about five yards. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short, play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground, play it safe, pick up the first down. On first and ten, here's Brissett. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. This pass defense, it, it just has to be better than this, Mike. They have to do a better job accounting for everybody in their coverages. 
Seems like they got a little lazy. They got locked in on maybe one or two of the offensive targets. They have to play their defense exactly according to the plan. Because if not, this quarterback has enough weapons. He can spread the ball out and find the open space. Now Brissett throwing on first and ten. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. These crossing concepts are frequently used, Mike, throughout the entire game all across the league. And what it does is it creates a lot of natural rubs. You run out the backside of the defense and rely heavily on the yards after the catch. And it's exactly how they're able to pick up this big game. And that is incomplete. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. We'll try again. It's second and ten. It's the tight end, Henry, in motion. Play fake to Stevenson. Now Brissett. That one taken in by Douglas. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have an internal clock in their head. How does my protection match up with the rush and the route concept I'm trying to attack downfield? In this case, he's looking downfield, realizes quickly this ball's got to come out, checks it down to his underneath drag, picks up what he can. And he will have a Patriots first down. Won't be by much. He needed three. He got three. But the mark says first down. In real time from up here, Mike, I couldn't tell whether or not he got it at first glance. But I think after seeing the replays we have up here, it looked like he and his blockers got just enough. And they're going to be able to keep this drive alive. He pulls it in around the five. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. They were able to complete this pass, but how often do we see these running backs run these angle routes and they catch it in stride and run a hole through the defense. So, you know, the defense gave up some yards here, but it could have been a lot worse. On the carry, it's Stevenson. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Ramondre Stevenson. Touchdown, Patriots. Well, you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and they come away with six. So that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Flies extra point, up and good. And the Pats will level things out at seven apiece. So back to level after the touchdown. Time for the kickoff. Jones now on the return. Now an opening past the 30. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. Out comes Joe Burrow and the Bengals offense to take over once more. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. Throwing is Burrow. Gets it away quickly and it's caught. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. 
Now second down throw for Burrow. Quick throw, taken in. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. Burrow now to throw on first down. The middle of the field, that's taken in by Chase. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Burrow and his favorite target, Chase, for the Cincinnati first down. Two minutes to play. First half, all tied at seven. We'll come back to Cincinnati in a moment. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Right back to Chase. He's got it again. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove. And there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way. Every play they call, you're wide open. And you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. Burrow here on second down. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta have it best play call. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that could be a bit of a letdown. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards but do it after the catch. Second down, Burrow. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. Uh, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. A first down throw for Burrow. Pass right side, and Higgins has the catch. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Working out of the gun, Burrow. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. They went for it all on that one and just a little bit off. Ball winds up hitting the ground. They've got to move forward. The opportunities are out there. Better execution, better location, and they got some big plays in their future. Burrow now. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. You can feel them starting to press a little bit, especially with this passing game. They find themselves so close to the end zone, they got to get it over the goal line. You got to be a little bit more accurate. You got to be a little bit smarter with the ball. And right now, the timing, the spacing, it's just not matching up. They'll try to run this one in. And he will dive into the end zone. Zach Moss. Touchdown, Bengals. So on third and goal, they run it in. Sometimes, Greg, that's four down territory. They didn't need to do it on fourth down. Taking care of it on the third down.
for the touchdown. Yeah, and when you find yourself down here this close, Mike, you have to finish these drives off. I'm with you. I think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in, but he only needed one. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. To return, it's Antonio Gibson. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The Pates offense going to get it one last time here late in the opening half. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Here is Brissett. They're trying to set up the screen to Stevenson. You see so many teams wait till third down to execute their screen game, but I like in this case the play caller changes things up. He uses the screen game on first down, which will have an effect on this pass rush going forward. How aggressive do they want to get after the quarterback? Because they got that screen play still in the back of their head. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. Quick throw here is complete. And he'll get him down after a gain of five, but that is enough for a first down. And the offense will elect to burn a timeout. Five seconds remaining in this second quarter. comes on they'll try the field goal here and this is a long one officially 64 yard field goal attempt that one's on target and it is good from the other side of midfield one of the longest field goals in NFL history Just one second remaining in this first half, and they will kick it away. Back to throw, Burrow. And that is incomplete. One final chance does not work out. Time has expired. The first half has come to an end. All right, Mike, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our halftime report. In that first half, it was Zach Moss who proved to be tough to stop. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. These two teams making their way back out of their locker room. So that means we're just about set for the second half. And to bring it your way, we go back out to Mike and Greg. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. First half played out a bit as we expected. We'll see if there's a surprise coming up. Both teams set to go, and the second half is underway. He'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense looking to get back to work as we begin this third quarter. The trail by four. Touchdown gives him the lead. Drive begins with first and ten. out of the gun here's Brissett the open man is Osborne and they will bring him down on the other side of midfield those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day and you can see pre-snap the quarterback loved his matchup he allowed his receiver to work downfield perfect throw and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points Thank you. 
They'll run on first down with Stevenson. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. They face second down and seven. Reset gonna throw. There's Osborne with the grab. He's gonna be taken down at about the 30. I'm not sure what was the more difficult aspect of the play. Winning his route versus man coverage or catching this pass. Because that quarterback, he put a little extra sauce on that one to get it there on time. And he's able to secure a really nice catch. They show Jet Sweep and instead run it up the middle. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step aside. Second and seven. Operating from the gun is Brissett. That'll be complete to Gibson. And he'll be taken down. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets. It puts so much pressure on the defense deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Ball resting on the nine. First down and goal. Here's a run. And that's a productive run. He gets this one down to the four. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You've got to have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Reset. That's going to be intercepted in the end zone. That's the safety, Von Bell. All right, Mike, file this play away. If they're able to hold on and pull this game out, we're going to look back on this as the pivotal moment of this game. Oftentimes, it takes that one big moment to sway the outcome of a game, and no bigger play than a pick deep inside your own red zone. The Bengals offense getting ready for their opening possession of this second half. The lead sits at four, so they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. in my day, Mike, and pretty much all of the messages are the same. We want to start the second half fast. We want to take the fight to our opponent. Well, snapping the ball inside your own five-yard line after that sack, I promise you, was not part of the speech. And if they're not careful, they're on the verge of surrendering two points here. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Here's Burrow. To the left side. Caught by Chase. And they'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage, and so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Burrow from out of the gun here on third down. 
He's got a receiver. It's Chase. Good gainer there. They'll get him out of bounds up past the 35-yard line. That is rare. You don't see third and 17 converted all that often. First down. the play fake. Here is Burrow. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. T. Higgins, the intended receiver on that one. It's second down. So after their defense gives them a gift on their last drive and gets them the ball back and on the field, they nearly return the favor following that dangerous throw of their own, and at this point, they're lucky to walk away with just an incompletion. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here now, third and five. To throw is Burrow. That is caught. Finding Higgins down the right sideline and he will score T. Higgins cut down Cincinnati a terrific job all the way around especially after the catch Greg to take it to the end zone for a touchdown I'm just so impressed by the acceleration of this receiver Mike he catches what is a short pass and he's able to turn it up the field and take it all the way for six that is an impressive play run after catch On is McPherson for the extra point. He's got it. And the Bengals are out to a 21 to 10 lead. After the TD, on is McPherson to kick this one away. On the return, here comes Gibson. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense ready to take over possession of the football. They look to make some inroads here. They're down 21 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down. in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Throw it. We're set. Throwing right. It's taken in. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. Here's third and two. Here's Stevenson. Stevenson's got a first down and more. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. A game there of 20. Good for a Patriots first down. That's the mindset I just love seeing from a running back, Mike. His eyes weren't just on that first down marker. They were on getting that first and some on top of it. That's pretty impressive. Set to go now on first and 10. Here's Gibson. And he'll get six on this one, moving it inside the 40-yard line. They'll work now on second and four. Two 
to throw is Brissett. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. We see this time and time again in the NFL, Mike. You want to play quarterback at this level, you better figure out a way to be able to bounce back following a bad throw, a bad series, a bad game. And in this case, he's got to bounce back from a pick on the last drive, and he's got to find himself some easy completions and settle himself back into this one. And that's a veteran quarterback doing what veterans do. Don't take the extra hit. Got the first down, get down. The drive continues. This is exactly how it's supposed to look on third down. His eyes are downfield. Nothing materializes. He quickly decides he can do it himself. Picks up the first down. And then to protect himself with the slide. Well done. On first down. We're set. The pass rush gets home. And he goes down. Through the first half, it was clear. This pass protection, this offensive line unit, they were clearly up for the challenge. The pass rush was not. But here in the second half, you can sense a little bit more urgency. You can see them start playing with a little more speed and intensity, and it pays off there with their first sack of the day. So we are through three. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now, we're set into traffic but taken in and they'll get about eight out of that one but still a little work to do now on third down these are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid you can take some chances you can push the ball downfield but not only to pick up a couple yards you got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward defense Still third down. But penalty yardage certainly helps. Now it's third down, and they need five. He's going to have the first down and then some. You only get a one-yard buffer from the line of scrimmage for these old linemen. That time he strayed a little too down. far, and it draws the flag. So a much more difficult scenario now. It is third and ten. Open man is Douglas. It's complete. 18 yards on the connection. First down, New England. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead, and the age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. It's second down. It's Brissett. Got his receiver on the in cut. He's got it. The key to good route running, Mike, is deceiving the man covering you into thinking you're doing one thing, and then you change it and do the other. And in this case, he had the defender thinking this was a vertical downfield route. And then next thing you know, he gets to his break point. He breaks in, and that ball's put right on the money for a big pickup. Third and short yardage. It's Brissett. 
Ah, the pressure too much, and he goes down. Feels like they needed that sack this entire drive. It feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. So, here's the kicker, Joey Sly in a pressure spot. This to get back to a one-possession game. And this one, right down the middle. It's good. And they are indeed back within one score. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. So the field goal makes it a one-score game here in the fourth quarter as they kick it away. Jones now on the return. He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. The Bengals offense and Joe Burrow set to take over again. Eddie has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. We've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. He's got this up close to the 35-yard line. A lot could go wrong anytime you decide to put the ball in the air here late in the fourth quarter as you're trying to run out the clock and protect this lead. But at the same time, I like that they haven't gone super conservative. Just hand off right, hand off left, and it just turns into tackling practice. So I like the balance of making the defense defend everything because right now, possess the ball, protect the ball, and ultimately just run the clock out. Second and a yard. Play action now. It's Burrow. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out front. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. He's over 100 receiving yards on the afternoon now. And a first down to boot. So this is a part of the game that everybody works on, Mike. They call it four-minute offense. You don't necessarily have to have four minutes on the clock. But the whole idea is we possess the ball late in the fourth quarter with the lead. The goal is we want to end the game with the ball. So that third down conversion is going to go a long way. Protect the ball. Continue to pick up first downs. If they do that... I don't even think their opponent sees the ball again. Play clock has expired. We're not going to get this one off on top. Still first down. Working out of the gun, Burrow, right back to Chase. He's got it again. Here 
here's a second and nine. They bring Chase in motion. Now whistles. Play clock at zero, and that'll cost them five. Still second down. A run over center with Moss. And he'll get four on this one. Down inside the 40-yard line now. Now, pause here. Injured player, it's Jamar Chase, who's in some discomfort. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. It is third and ten. Kosicki, the man in motion. On third down, they'll set up to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. And this one's going to land out of bounds as they'll mark it inside the 20. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. The deficit is eight as this drive begins with first and ten. out of the gun. Here's Brissett. A throw on the move is caught. Brissett going to throw. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Plenty of time, all three timeouts left. It's first and ten. We'll set up the screen for Gibson. The screen works for ten yards and a first down. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can draw. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. Outside of a turtle, this was probably the worst-case scenario. Immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield. Just get the ball out of your hand. Live to play another down. Instead, he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss. On second and long. They'll drop to throw. He's got his big tight end, Henry. 
And it'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Here is first and ten. From the shotgun, it's Brissett. His throw on first down is going to be incomplete. All right, so this is why you get paid the big bucks. These are the possessions as a quarterback you need to deliver for your team. Everybody talks about two-minute. Everybody drills it every single week. But when it comes down to this moment in the game, your quarterback needs to be on point. And after that first down incompletion, it just makes things that much harder. Got his man at the six. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Now, first and goal. Keeping it in the air. Here's Bruce. And the rush gets there. Down he goes. I really like the play call. Sometimes you can catch the defense thinking run, and you can change it up on first down and go pass. The issue is, if you're the quarterback, you've got to get this ball out of your hand. It's either touchdown or out the back of the end zone into the bleachers because you cannot afford to go backwards when you find yourself in a goal to go. Quick throw here is complete. Stop at the six, and that sets up third and goal. Operating from the gun is Brissett. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. They let a golden opportunity slip away on that one. That's the matchup that they wanted. They just couldn't quite capitalize on it. Here we go. The noise is deafening. It's fourth and goal. And this will be a touchdown. They are within a two-point conversion of coming back to tie this game. And what a finish this is shaping up to be, Mike. They somehow get the late touchdown with very little time left on the clock. And, of course, now everybody knows what's coming. You've got to have your best two-point, got to have it play. You've been working on it all week. Let's see what they got. Listen to this crowd. These guys need a stop on this two-point conversion. Here is Brissett. And this is caught. He's able to hang on. They get the two points, and we are tied in the final minute of play. Final seconds here, overtime looming on the horizon as they kick it off. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it up. It's touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. This is first and ten. Burrow now. He's going to take a shot. 
sends it down the middle. And that's going to be incomplete. They took one last chance here in regulation. It does not pan out. And we are headed to overtime. Four quarters could not determine a winner. We get back underway here in overtime. On the return, here comes Gibson. And this will wind up working out well. He's going to take it up to the 40-yard line. Good return. The visitors' offense make their way out and take over once more. This one tight throughout, all level at 21, as they'll search for a go-ahead score. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. On the ground, Gibson. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Now a first throw here in overtime. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. He's gonna try to pick up the first down with his own read. A first down there on a pickup of 17. So, Mike, at the core of a successful zone replay is that the quarterback understands which defender is he responsible for. That is the defender they're trying to put in a bind. In this case, he chooses the runner, the quarterback pulls the ball, and he's able to take off for a big game. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Play clock down to zero. That's going to be a delay. Delay of game. Off. Still first down. Still first down. Still first He's going to keep this, looking to do it on his own. The defense not fighting. They stay at home, stop the quarterback. No gain on the play. A lot of defense's strategy of defending the zone read, Mike, is we want that quarterback to pull the ball. It's one of their few chances throughout the course of the game where they can get their hits on them. And in this case, they're able to hold them to no gain. Throw it. We're set. Little short pass here. Caught by his tight end. They'll be marked down very close to the first down. They got 14 of the 15 that they needed. It's going to set up a manageable third and short. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. It's the tight end, Henry, in motion. Oh, a bad time to run out of time. They don't get the playoff on third and short.
still third down. So, instead of third and short, it's now third and six. We're set. Has completed to Douglas. A pickup there of 19 yards. Good for a Patriots first down. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Down at the 12, it's first and 10. To throw is Brissett. That's hauled in at the 2. And he's into the end zone. That'll do it. They win it in OT. So often these defenses come into the game, Mike, and when they build their pass defense plan, there's tight ends, there's receivers. There's so many weapons that these offenses around the league have at their disposal. It could be easy sometimes to not account for the running back out of the backfield, and that's exactly what happened here. Easy throw, get it into the hands of one of the most dynamic guys on the field, and let them do the rest after the catch, and he takes it in for a touchdown. Don't forget about the extra point here. This, an important one. The kick is good. So an ideal start to this overtime. And now it's up to the defense to preserve a seven-point lead. So, thanks to that recent rule change, still the chance to extend this game and match that opening overtime score as they receive the kickoff here. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Bengals offense, ready to get back at it. They'll do so with first and 10. defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down it's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say well their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots usually that doesn't go hand in hand so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate pass right side and higgins has the catch He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. This is clinic tape for any young wide receiver out there watching this guy run routes. He has the defender thinking everything is a go ball. Attack him vertically, and then when you get to your route depth, you stick that foot in the ground, you break in, balls on time, results in a nice first down pickup. Thanks to his big tight end, Gesicki. And no chance to turn and go. That one good for just a couple. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. Open that downfield. Chase has it. They get 22 yards there. And the Bengals going to have a first down. Do a nice job there to move the chains early in this drive. But now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. On first and 10, Burrow. He bought all the time he could, but he's going to be taken down as he couldn't get a throw away. 
Nice change of pace there on the back end, Mike. They brought dime defense, which means they have six defensive backs. That's a lot of guys back there defending this passing game. And when the quarterback has nowhere to go with the ball, he tends to hold it longer than his offensive line can protect for. And he goes down for the sack. Now second down throw for Burrow. There's that man again. Another pass. And he's into the end zone. That'll do it. They win it in OT. What a catch and run by the tight end as he takes it into the end zone and finishes the play. Greg, you know what that's like. Tight end touchdown. Mike, so often the tight ends are considered to be the possession guys, right? They're the guy you throw it to when you need an easy catch, you need a reliable target. But not this guy. He is a downfield weapon, and he just showed you right there what he's capable of. They could have tried for the win. Instead, they'll go for one to extend the game. And an exhale there. Extra point is good. Now to the touchdown. Time for the kickoff. On the return, here comes Gibson. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The visitor's offense about ready to take over once more. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. Start on the ground with Stevenson. And that's not going to yield a whole lot. Up to about the 28-yard line. Here's second and nine. Now we're set... This one intercepted. It's the linebacker, Jermaine Pratt. And he is going to score. It's a shocking finish here in overtime. This game is over. We saw it earlier. The defense on the quarterback with the earlier interception. And now, Greg, not only do they pick him, they turn it into a pick six. And, Mike, the reality is this has just been a bad first half throwing the football. I mean, not only is it a second interception, but this time the defense gets their hands on the ball and they're able to take it all the way back for the pick six. So it's a win here in the jungle for the Bengals. This game had a little bit of everything. Winds up going overtime. It's their defense that comes up with the big play. They get the touchdown, and in a stunning finish, an instant classic, if you will, they get the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Oltz and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Bengals. And